Steamboat geyser. The steamboat geyser. Steamboat geyser. Volcanoes erupt when there's a sufficient supply of eruptible magma beneath the surface. Yellowstone steamboat geyser erupts again. Is the super volcano awakening? Kilauea's endless lava show lights up Hawaii's night sky. On June 29, 2025, the silence of Yellowstone National Park's Norris Geyser Basin was shattered once. Again by the deafening roar of steamboat geyser erupting in full force. That is awesome. As the world's tallest active geyser, Steamboat sent a massive tower of superheated water and steam soaring over 100 meters into the air, creating a towering white column that could be seen from kilometers away. Visitors screamed with excitement and fear, shielding their faces from the drifting hot mist while snapping photos and videos to capture this. Rare and unpredictable spectacle. But while tourists watched in awe, scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey USGS stood silently, scanning their instruments and live telemetry data streams. Their focus was not merely on the beauty of steamboats' eruption but on what it might mean deep beneath Yellowstone's ancient caldera. For weeks, USGS geologists have been observing subtle signs of change within the Yellowstone supervolcano system. Changes that are invisible to the eye, but detectable through an array of seismometers, GPS receivers, and satellite-based radar measurements. According to the latest USGS reports, sensors around Norris Geyser Basin have recorded low frequency. Harmonic tremors in the past month, vibrations often associated with the movement of magma through deep underground conduits. At the same time, Ground deformation measurements have detected uplift rates of around 3 mm per month. In the central caldera area, a small but significant inflation suggesting that magma is accumulating within the chamber 10 to 15 km below the surface. Died Dr. Emily Carson, a senior Yellowstone volcanologist with USGS explain that steamboat geysers eruptions themselves are caused by groundwater encountering extremely hot rocks heated by magma far below as the superheated water is trapped in underground fractures pressure builds to a point where it flashes instantly into steam violently erupting through the narrow geyser conduit However, Dr. Carson cautioned that when we see frequent eruptions combined with harmonic tremors and subtle uplift, it tells us the entire hydrothermal and magmatic system is recharging. It doesn't mean an eruption is imminent, but it does mean Yellowstone remains a living, breathing volcano. Indeed, Yellowstone's history is marked by three colossal super eruptions in the past to point one million years, each shaping the North American continent and altering the planet's climate. The last of these occurred about 640,000 years ago, creating the vast caldera that tourists now drive across without realizing they are within the crater of one of Earth's largest volcanic systems. While the USGS repeatedly emphasizes that there is no sign of an imminent super eruption, monitoring every subtle pulse beneath Yellowstone is vital for understanding how such massive volcanic systems behave over centuries. 
died at the same time. The steamboat's eruption drew gasps from visitors in Wyoming. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano continued its own relentless display of volcanic power. On June 28, 2025, Kilauea entered its 28th eruptive episode of the current cycle. As brilliant lava fountains erupted from vents within the Halima Yumayu crater. Streams of molten basalt surged down the crater floor, glowing with such intensity that the night sky over Hawaii's big island turned an unearthly orange, illuminating thick volcanic gas plumes drifting across the caldera. Tourists gathered at the Jagger Museum Overlook, and a long chain of craters rode, mesmerized by the unstoppable river of fire below. Some whispered prayers to Pele, the Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes, while others stood in silent reverence at the raw beauty of the Earth's molten heart revealed before their eyes. According to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory HVO, the lavas, chemistry indicates it is sourced from Kilauea's deep mantle hotspot reservoir, maintaining consistent magnesium-rich basaltic composition. HVO geologists noted that seismic tremors continue under the summit area, indicating that magma is steadily rising from depths of 3 to 5 kilometers beneath the surface. Gas emissions remain high, with sulfur dioxide mixing with fog and drifting downwind across the island, reminding residents that volcanic beauty comes with health hazards. Although Yellowstone and Kilauea exist on opposite sides of the Pacific and within different tectonic settings, their simultaneous volcanic displays remind us of Earth's continuous, interconnected processes. Yellowstone's hydrothermal eruptions are driven by continental plume heat, while Kilauea's effusive basalt flows are driven by an oceanic mantle plume both releasing the Earth's internal energy in ways that shape landscapes and ecosystems, scientists. Scientists continue to study whether any deeper connection exists between hydrothermal eruptions like steamboats and underlying magmatic changes. Within the Yellowstone system, Current models suggest that shifts in magma movement can subtly alter underground pressure, 